Alright, hello everyone, my name is Shep, welcome back to the Butcher Circus. Today you're gonna be playing with the Goliath comp, named after my old friend and um, streamer that I quite like to watch that unfortunately hasn't streamed for quite a while. Uh, his name was Cloaked Goliath and he really liked this team with the Leper because the Leper was kind of his thing, he was always playing the Leper. And he made a really good team around the Leopard. It's pretty much the only Leopard team that we actually see being quite viable. And even then we don't see it that much nowadays, because, well, obviously it's a Leopard team. It's not that great. Uh, Cloaked Goliath, if you're watching, please don't smite me. Or uh, or anything that uh, you do. Please don't flex your, your huge Leopard muscles over me, because uh, I do like the team. But honestly, Leper has a lot of downsides, but we might not be seeing them in this matchup because I'm gonna be able to go revenge, I'm gonna be able to make use of the two damage trinkets I have right here, and I'm gonna do so much damage to that Crusader or that Hellion that this is gonna be absolutely wild. Now, he is focusing my Crusader down a pretty good amount. I am thinking of just dropping a block of light here, even though it's a little suspicious to, to drop a block of light. Um, when you have a potential to just go stun. I feel like I always bring this ability, but I'm not, I don't really use it all that often, but I'm gonna use it today. Because it's gonna help us a lot against stunning blows and zealots because of the damage. It's gonna help us against finale, it's gonna help us against dirk snap, it's gonna help us against lunge, it's gonna help us against all that the hellion does, even if she gets bleeds on top of it. It's still gonna be quite helpful. Uh, even though my hit chance is already Oh, I was gonna say it's already confirmed. No, it isn't. <laughs> it truly isn't. My base accuracy is so bad that I need a battle ballad and a revenge on top to actually have an even decent hitting chance. But now that I do, look at that damage. 20 to 36. That's insane. That's gonna be a bleed out on my Crusader. Only rolls for 12 and applies a pretty big debuff on that Hellion and also dazes her. That days could be the end of this Hellion here, honestly. 22 to 40 damage. Unfortunately, we only roll for 31. When are you ever gonna hear that? Unfortunately, we only roll for 31. Only when you're playing uh, this Leper. Yeah, only in that situation. We're probably just gonna follow that up with a stun. It has 7 to 10 damage on the roll, so it could potentially just be enough. Or he's gonna go for that um, for that move, then I'm probably gonna have to flare, but if I go for a flare here, I could be in danger, because I won't be able to have to heal. So is this the greatest situation for me? No, not really. Not, not, not really. Okay, how are we gonna deal with this? Well, I'm gonna let my Crusader drop to this door if he wants to go for something like that. Though Hellion isn't stunned, so the, oh, this could be nasty. This could be nasty. I'm gonna go for the Dirk here, hopefully drop her down to zero, which we do, so I'm probably gonna force out an Adrenaline Rush, but um, I'm fine with an Adrenaline Rush coming down here, I'm totally fine with that. Um, what I'm hoping on is my Medic's full point to actually just heal my, my Crusader a pretty big amount. Fortunately, that only does 3 damage, so the Blight isn't gonna be enough to actually drop me to Death Star, which is really good here. I could go for a heal, or I could, I could go for a Flare and then heal. Um, I could go for a flare and heal myself, I mean, I, I could go for a myriad of things here, but, um... Uh, what should I do, what should I do? I'm just, I'm just gonna click the Crusader, I'm gonna pass, and if he does decide to go for a Dirk Stab on my Crusader, I'm just gonna heal, and I'm gonna heal for like 12, and I'm gonna have a lot of protection on top of that, so... This Dirk Stab, uh, this Jester Finale won't be able to do enough damage reliably. Um, maybe with the... If it bleeds, it will be able to do enough. But we get the mineral for 10. Oh, that's really bad. That's really bad. The finale might actually do enough damage. It's going to be rolling for like 7 to 13. So it could actually just do enough to my Crusader. And if there's a bleed out, and if it bleeds on top, even though there's um, really hefty debuffs on this Hellion, you know, all it takes is like 5 damage, and, uh, and the Crusader is already going to be very, very, very susceptible to a uh, Jester Death Blow with that finale which I 100% don't want to have happen, but it's going to be an adrenaline rush instead, giving me finale value on that Hellion. Do we want to go finale on that Hellion? Um, that's going to be a Hellion down, which is good, and he, he's probably, he has to respond with finale, because if he doesn't, then he's down way too much tempo. 
Yeah, he has to respond with Finale, but is Finale gonna do enough damage? It's not confirmed. It's not confirmed. We might win the match right here. I'm gonna drop a Finale. We get a crit, which is good and bad because it gives us rain. It gives us more access to that Grave Robber, but it's also bad because now he can just go for a stun or a Zells or anything like that. He's gonna go for Finale. The Finale isn't confirmed. I told you so. There's 35 prot on this Crusader. Even though we got the min heal with, um, with the Crusader, uh, with the Battlefield bandage because seven plus thirty-three percent is going to be ten. Uh, this is um, this is working out pretty well for us. He says that's bad. I I have to agree with you. That's really bad. <laughs> that's really bad. I'm going to go for a hue here just so we do a little more damage to both characters because I don't want to go for a chop and miss, but I don't really want to focus the crusader down right now. I want to go for the for the grave robber, which is a little bit softer. But even if I miss, I would do some damage to the crusader, so this is fine. And Hume has a pretty good crit chance as well if you have all these trinkets set up like uh, like how I have. He fails the stun because of my stun resistance. Beautiful. I guess in response to that, I can't really go for heal right now because they're just going to be panic darts on top. What is my hit chance? 67. I'm going to go for it. Oh, you greedy bastard. Shep, you're so greedy. Going for the 67 instead of going for a heal. You greedy, greedy bastard. And I'm going to do it again. Or am I? No, I'm not that I'm not that crazy. I'm gonna go for a heal here. I don't want to let him um, just get a kill on my Crusader because I'm 100% in the winning seat and uh, I don't want this Crusader to go down. Because the Goliath comp is really strong. I mean, dealing with this Sniper here, just digging him out is so difficult. Because, well, if you have pushes and if you have, like, reliable stunts, then yeah, the Leper isn't gonna do too well. But the thing is, um, the Jester can use Finale, the Arbalos can use Bola, there's a lot of moves that can support him pretty well, and uh, the amount of damage that he does is, uh, is insane. Look at that, that's 20 with a hue on a Crusader, that's half his HP with 15 prot. With a hue, that's the ability that does less damage, it's not a chop, a chop would probably just have killed him there. Brought him down to zero and then a, a Dirk Snap would have been able to, to kill him essentially. Um, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to go for a heal right here, or I could go for a flare. Uh, both are okay, actually, because I could go for a flare and then just uh, heal myself. Yeah, that, that should be fine, actually. I'm gonna go for a flare, I'm gonna clear the daze, because dazes are really annoying to have. And um, then I'm, we're, we're just gonna go from there. Yeah, we are just gonna go from there. That Jester is daze, so it's only real finishing character is gonna be daze, which is good. There's also that Grave Robber with the lunch, but she's in a position... In position 3 right now, so I'm not too concerned about it. And honestly, I'm just gonna play greedy here. I'm just gonna get a kill on that Grave Robber. He doesn't have access to the... Oh shit, playing greedy was bad. <laughs> that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. It's Shep, why did I go for that? It, it should be fine. Oh, we don't have the dates anymore. Thing is, he doesn't have his finishing character right now. He doesn't have his finishing ability with the Dirk Snap or the or the Harvest because uh, the Jester is dazed for another two rounds. So I'm not too concerned about this. I wish I had gotten a kill. You know, stunning blow Dirk Snap would have been a 60% chance of just getting a kill. And she would be stunned on top of that. But um, unfortunately, we don't get the second, second 67, which is... Um, it's definitely fine. I'm being very greedy here. It's gonna be a Zell's accusation. Fortunately, it doesn't get the death blow. Now, do I get the Virtue? Come on, Virtue. Come on, Virtue. Now we go masochistic. I don't think I could have gotten any worse than that, actually. But the Grave Robber, the Grave Robber, Shep, she's... She's in danger, isn't she? She is very much in danger. I'm gonna go free heal here because... That would have been the best play, but the Masochistic Crusader says no. Well, in that case, I'm gonna go for a sniper shot. We do bring the finish on the Arbalist, because I find that she's often the last one alive on this team. So, since she's the last one alive, uh, she and the Jess are the last ones alive, and uh, while the damage is good on her, we already have a really, really, really good damage dealer to Leper, so she's more of support, a damage... Kind of a damage support as well, Sniper Shot is still really good, and she's also like a secondary finisher, she, that's essentially what she's doing here. I'm just gonna go for a um, Rally to the Flame on that Jester just to keep him healthy, keep me healthy, prevent any death blows from coming through, and then the Dirk Sam's gonna be a 75% chance of getting the kill. I haven't even used my, my Leper action yet, actually, I just realized, I'm probably just gonna go for Hue. Oh, this Hue could have so much value right now. Okay, let's see let's see what the Hugh does. We haven't caught in a single crit yet. Come on, Hugh. 22. We get the crit, but we don't see how much damage it would have done, unfortunately. It would have done wait, let's see. 
Uh, oh, I can't see now. But it would have done like, if we were doing 11 to 20 to the Crusader, it's probably doing like 13 to 23 to the Grave Robber. So a crit would have done like 30. A 30 crit with Hugh, her entire HP with an ability that hits two characters. Can you believe that? Yeah, it's unbelievable, isn't it? The, the Leper really is a, a really good character. When you have a, this kind of setup on him and the, op and the opponent can't just deal with it, oh, it's nasty. Oh, it's nasty. Because, um, Sometimes just having damage isn't enough, but other times, all you need is just this great source of damage to actually win your matches. I'm 100% gonna go for a flare here, because I want my my finishing jester to... I'm just gonna kill on that crusader, so I'm just gonna go for that. Uh, whatever he decides to hit, I'm probably just gonna, just gonna rally to the flame after a bit, so this is chill. I'm gonna go for another hue here. 21 damage on the corpse, the corpse almost gets cleared. Uh, he wouldn't heal enough on the Jester because he's taking 12 DOT. So we just click him, we go for a Dirk Snap on the wrong character, unfortunately. But um, it should still be fine, I'm just gonna go for a heal and uh, unless Masochistic goofs himself, nah he doesn't. Unless that would happen, I'm just gonna drop a heal and we're gonna be chilling right now. Unless Zealous gets a crit and does like... How much damage would it be? Uh, and, and does like enough stress to to make my my Jester have a heart attack because I have the plus 110% stress taken. Actually, no, I have so much stress taken. Yeah, there's the finale debuff, there's the Death Star debuff, there's the Monkey Spawn. Unless something like that would happen, I am I'm just chilling here. I'm gonna go for heal just because I don't want to let him get a death blow. So I'm just gonna do this. Or not, I guess, or not. Well, the Jester says no. I guess that's what, what what afflictions are there for, so he's probably gonna get a kill on my Jester now, but it's gonna be too little, too late, I'm gonna have to say. Oh, even gets the crit, which is really good for me, because guess what's gonna happen now? Come on, Leper, get another crit, you. Come on, get it on the Jester. Ah, 13 to 24, by the way. <laughs> 13 to 24. That's more damage than what I'm doing with a sniper shot, with the same crit chance, by the way. And now the finisher Arbalus just gets the death blow, and the, the gesture goes back to position four, to position three, but he won't stay there for long. Yeah, there's no way he survives this onslaught. He's gonna go for the immediate harvest. He's hoping for my Crusader to just oop himself, but even after that happens, there's uh, there's essentially no way that um, the Jester just stays alive. I'm gonna play it a little greedy here because I honestly don't care. Moves forward with the Crusader, huh? That's that's really not gonna matter. I'm just gonna self heal. I'm gonna be chilling, and right now we're gonna see how much damage chop does to a corpse. Crit 53. Imagine that hitting your flagellant, for example. He's immediately down to the store after a gauntlet of absolution heal or anything like that. And now we're gonna go for a bola. Crit for nine. Nice. Arbalus is trying to learn from, from what the leper can do. <laughs> Jester goes fearful. That's gonna be a little, a little extra dodge, but with all the accuracy that we have between battle ballads and uh and the revenge and the finishers, there's no way that that Jester gets a dodge, and um, yeah, this should be very soon all she wrote for the Jester, because there's just going to be a stunning blow, there's going to be a chop, and it's probably going to be all over for him. Uh, Crusader says some dirty things, now we drop a hue, 15 damage, not too shabby, not too shabby. We're gonna drop a stunning blow because uh, we won't have the highest chance of actually getting that kill and uh, yeah, we just get the 30 and GG, Mr. D. Alright, and here we go with a second match with the Leopard team. And this time, oh, we're playing against something way more dangerous here. This is gonna be an abomination with Slam, so my Leper... Ooh, he's, he's gonna be feeling the pain because we don't have the exotic snuff, so our move resistance is only 60%. And he goes first immediately, so you you just know it. You just know it's gonna happen. He's gonna transform, he's gonna go for the slam. Oh, he's doing it already. He's probably gonna push my Leper out of position. What? Did he misclick? He wants to push the Crusader out of position? I mean, he probably doesn't want to let me get Battle Ballot, right? Because Battle Ballot here hurts him a lot. But, um, oh, this team is tough to deal with, jeez. Okay, I, I have to go for a lot of good things here, because I need to kill the Abom, I need to kill the Houndmaster, I need to kill the Houndmaster. And, um, if we go for those kinds of things, I feel like first, I'm actually gonna go for a very sussy Ola here. 
And why is that? Well, if I knock the Shieldbreaker back, this isn't too bad for me. Um, it doesn't mean that I'm gonna have to Holy Lance into something else, though. But yeah, I definitely want to get Battle Battle buff here. He might just go for a Puncture after I drop the after I go for the Crusader Holy Lance. So I'm not too sure um, on how this is gonna go down. Yeah, he's probably just gonna go for the Puncture on my Jester. It might miss. Oh no, with with Command, it's not gonna miss. Yeah, it is not gonna miss, guys. It is 100% not gonna miss. Is there any way I can make him? No, there's no way I can bait it out or anything. I'm just gonna be forced to eat that puncture, unfortunately. Oh, you silly goose. Why did you have to play this well? Why do you have to play this well? And the thing is, uh, the problem with the Goliath comp... One of the problems with the Goliath comp is that it doesn't have access to the enemy backline. Oh, that's a misplay. That's a huge misplay. He's gonna give me Battle Ballad. He took all this approach to making me not have Battle Ballad, and now he's just gonna give it to me for free, which I, I don't mind one bit. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna go for this Battle Ballad, and uh, that Hound Sari is gonna have a huge crit chance. So, yeah, I don't have access to the, to the enemy backline. My only access is with uh, Finale. I have I have Sniper Shot into the backline, but it's... It's not supported by anything else. Just sniper shots isn't gonna kill a position for a character. I mean, Holy Lance helps, but yeah, that's not really what we're going for. The puncture is a little too late. He might, uh, he definitely, I feel like he definitely noticed his mistake. Now, a chop would do 17 to 32 damage. I'm gonna go for it. Doesn't quite do enough on the Abomination, but he's now in in risk of getting finale. But I don't want to drop a finale on the Abom. I don't want to drop a finale on the doggy because Abom is scary. But um, Abom I can deal with relatively fine here, uh, with a few Holy Lances, a few a few Sniper Shots, a few Bullets, maybe a Dirk Snap to get the kill, maybe a Hue if I'm still able to go for that. But a Doggy I cannot deal with. If he decides to go Defender on the Doggy, it's GG for me. It is totally GG for me. Um, okay, that's, that's definitely an interesting move. I am... Nah, he still has that turn with the Abomination. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for the Sniper Shot, I'm gonna go for the Finale. I'm gonna drop it on the Houndmaster, he's down to 5 HP, I definitely have enough damage for the Finale. With one buff I do 9 to 18 damage, so there's no way I don't do enough. Uh, he could go for a heal and heal himself for 5, but that's not gonna be sufficient. The only way he he has to save himself from the Houndmaster getting destroyed here is to go for a D-Transform stun or just a, a slam, but he goes Beast Vile. I mean, the thing is, transform slam into Beast Vile. Yeah, that's what you do every single match. That's That doesn't mean it's what you have to do, it means it's what you usually do. Not saving the doggy here is a huge mistake for him because, yeah, he has a pretty decent setup with this... Um, with this with this abomination, but the doggy is dead. The Shieldbreaker is a decent character, but she doesn't output stress. I mean, she has Expose, but she's not a stress output character. Um, the abomination is a good character, but this abomination isn't going to be enough to kill my team. He's a really solid character, but an abom on his own just can't kill a team. You need a character like the doggy, you need a character like the Flange the Drain of Sorrows. You need something that can output a lot of stress to actually win as a stress team. He sends me a message, um... He sent me a message, no, no, I'm joking. He sent me a message saying, oh, finale. I guess he didn't expect the finale to come through right there. I am thinking of being greedy here. I'm thinking of going for a chop, but... <laughs> My hit chance is 50-50. I'm gonna drop a revenge just so I get another 15 accuracy. Honestly... Playing this with two damage trinkets is probably a mistake. You could honestly just remove Track Chopper and or remove this one, it's the same, and just go for an Eagle Eye Talisman. I'm gonna lose the crit, I'm gonna lose 5% damage, but I'm gonna get, um, instead of that, I'm gonna get a beautiful 10 accuracy, which is really gonna help you against characters like Shieldbreaker. It's, let me tell you, nothing feels worse than missing hue after hue after hue on a shield breaker because that's kind of what the leper goes for if you don't have a confirmed hit chance and if you don't really have to go for that hit chance you just um you just go for a hue until you actually hit both characters and do some decent damage but yeah in this situation that's going to be easier um easier said than done because there's still so much dodge on that shield breaker that it's difficult to deal with her however I could force out, um, I could make her, oh, I could make her eat a lot of pain right here. Uh, 12 to 21, that's not enough. Chop 65. <laughs> what were you saying, Shep? 
The Leper feels bad because she'll make her too much dodge? Oh no. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. Well, you're gonna go for the Serpent Sway, right? Guess how much I care. Well, I care a decent amount, but I don't care enough that I'm not gonna go Bola with my double plus 40 accuracy buffs on that Shield Breaker and Dirk Stab as well. So I'm definitely gonna drop the Bola right now. It's gonna put the Shield Breaker down one block, and um, hopefully the stun is gonna get the other one. Now, maybe I should have gone for a stun first, but... Ooh, he actually pushed the Man Arms position for I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Uh, but he's probably gonna slam my... Crusader this time again, right? Maybe the Leper? No, he just doesn't slam the Leper. I definitely feel like that was a misplay. Um, though, doing a crit for 28 doesn't feel like a misplay. At, at the, in the slightest, honestly. Critting for 28 is insane. I'm gonna go abusive. Oh, that could be terrible. Oh no. Okay, that's only stress. Only stress you say as your Chester is dying. Yeah, 30% hit chance. I can't justify going for that. I'm gonna go for a heal on this Chester just to keep him away from this star here. Yeah, my, my Crusader is not gonna be doing too well here, and I'm gonna have to go for probably a Dirk Snap instead of a Harvest, but if I go for a Dirk Snap here, this could be dangerous in case another Slam goes down, but all oh, the hit chances. I'm gonna go for a Dirk Snap because it's a higher hit chance, I'm just gonna hope it works. It does, it does work. I'm taking way too much horror. <laughs> I'm taking so much stress. He's gonna drop another Serpent Sway. Oh, why is the freaking Shieldbreaker so strong? She has 80 dodge now, I can't keep focusing her. And I, I can kind of make my way through that Mether Arms, but I also can't. Well, I could maybe... I could drop a Flare right now, but I don't feel like that's gonna be the play. I'm gonna go for the Leper. Come on, go Abusive, 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 Abusive. Okay, that's still fine. That's still fine, that's only like minus 10 damage, right? Oh, no, it's not even minus damage, wonderful. And uh, we're gonna go for a chop, we rolled for 20, <laughs> nice, with one Bellow debuff on us. We rolled for 20, I was hoping for a little more, but that was still... How do we even roll for 20? It doesn't say we can do that much, actually. 13 to 24 weapon base, is that the hue, maybe? I'm, I'm not sure. Plus 15 other skill, plus 15 trinket. Uh, yeah, I don't know how we roll for that amount. 16, 29, 10 to 17. Yeah, weird. Weird how that, how that works. He's gonna guard again, and now he has 70 prot, so there goes my strategy. Eh, sadly. Um, yeah, going for a Hue there was pointless, because I'm I'm pretty much never gonna hit that shield breaker. I'm still gonna try to go for it with the bullet, though, because that's a lot of accuracy. Um... What should I go for first? Maybe the cru maybe the abusive crusader. Yeah, this might be a good play because if you want to go for a on any of the other characters, as long as it isn't the arbalist, then we're gonna be fine here. Yeah, as long as it isn't the arbalist, we're gonna be chilling. Because if he stuns the arbalist, then obviously I can't flare away the stun. I wonder if he goes for D transform bile or if he goes for D transform stun on the arbalist. Both are really good here. He might go for a slam on my leper finally. But I'm not too sure that would be in his best interest. Yeah, he's gonna go the transform that's his final transformation through. And he's gonna go be smiley. I, we figured out he's that kind of player. And um, at this point... Okay, at this point we're gonna drop a ball. That's still a 70 hit chance. We miss! No, finisher and battle belt. Why do you do this to me? And um, the jester passes. Is that like... Nah, that's the second turn of Flicker that we get a pass. I guess it could have been worse. We didn't get two passes in a row yet. <laughs> yet. Yeah. Very important word to be said here. Yet. Yeah, this is a really tough team to deal with. This feels like a, a counter pick, honestly. This feels like a pretty big counter pick. Um. Oh, some of that dodge is gonna go away now, I'm pretty sure. No, it's still here! It's still here! Oh my goodness. Okay. We definitely have to heal with this Crusader. Yeah, I'm gonna click myself and I'm gonna go for heal here. This is gonna be the best play. I mean, do we we do have something going in our favor here, and that thing is the fact that um, is the fact that he doesn't have any kind of healing apart from the abomination self heal. So any kind of, any damage that we do is gonna stick. 
I'm really sad that the uh, Leper didn't take the heal because that would have re reduced, I mean, removed one of the damage debuffs, but unfortunately that's just not what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna click, click the Leper now. I'm. Am I gonna go for a heal? No, I'm not gonna go for any of those. I'm gonna go for a Solemnity, which I guess is okay because it's gonna be a stress heal as well. Alright, it could have been a worse act out. I mean, if Irrational moved back. Wait, can he even move back? The Leper can't move back. No, he can move back for sure. Yeah, act outs, act outs uh, just don't care about that. Act outs don't care about your feelings. Uh, oh no, that's bad. Oh, okay, okay. That's. Oh, that's worse. <laughs> oh, that's worse. That's gonna cause enough stress. The Jester isn't dead, though. Um, the Jester isn't dead, but he's gonna die unless I heal him. Because of the starting action for next round. He isn't working out too well, but we can still win this. We can still win this. We have a leopard, there's no way we lose. Um okay, I'm I'm fine with this. Should I should I harvest here? Should I harvest here? 50-50 of hitting. And I'm gonna stay in this position. That corpse is gonna go away soon. And then I can keep harvesting. I'm gonna go for it. Oh, I'm so happy we hit. Okay, that's one hit on that sway, and some of the dodge is gonna go away soon. The doggy is gonna be gone by the end of next round. Yeah, I I need to keep this Jester alive. He's my only saving grace here. I do have a finisher with the Arbals, but I, I'm not sure if I can win this just with Arbals and Leper. I am not too sure if I can win this just with these two. He's gonna go Manacles. Please don't get a 65 stun. Please don't get it. Sadly, he gets the 55 stun. Quite sadly, he gets it. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it, I'm just gonna click here. I need to keep my Arbalest action up so I can heal the- so I can save the Jester. And I also need to keep the Jester action up, because once he acts, he's gonna die. Uh, he's gonna have a heart attack because of the, of the horror. So I need to play this very, very well, but I honestly feel like if he plays this well as well, I kind of don't have a chance to, to save my Jester, or if I do, it's very minimal. Because by the start of the next round, he's just gonna go expose and I'm dead. However, there's something I can do to maybe make my gesture action good here. That's exactly what I was going for, Arbalest, you genius! But it it didn't didn't hit. Sadly, it just didn't hit. That's really bad. He doesn't do 10 damage. Even with a crit, expose doesn't do 10 damage. He's a dead star. So my Jester is going to be able to have his action. I'm so sad that we missed. I feel like we didn't get the extra accuracy because that was an act out. I'm not sure if that's true. Because I, I saw that being like 25 accuracy. Yeah, against the shield breaker. I'm not sure if that's what happened because it was an act out or something. He's going to go for a puncture just to, just to deal some... Just to prevent me from going harvest maybe? I'm not sure. But uh, we're gonna go for the dark snap here, 63 hits, I'm very glad that's what happened, but now my Jester is dead to to a Bellow or, a, or an Exposed, it's probably gonna, get, gonna be a Bellow. Maybe we dodge, we have a dodge chance. What are you saying, Shep? You wanna get a dodge? No, you don't. No, you don't, Shep. No, you don't. You shitty, shitty Shepherd. You silly Shepherd doggy. Um, come on. No. Okay, okay, that's a hit at least. I would definitely want to go heal instead of chop, but I'm not gonna complain. That's better than the pass, that's better than a move back. I'm not gonna complain. That's not gonna stun. That's also not gonna stun, which is also really good. I'm doing 45 damage on this man arms. Is it even worth it to go for the 45 damage? Um I mean I guess I'm gonna have to get through him some way. Uh, or is it more worth it to go for a heal here just to prevent me from taking enough damage? Honestly, I'm just gonna go for a heal. Because um, if I prevent my Leopard from dying to just normal damage, this is decent for me, honestly. But I'm not too sure. I feel like Diabolus doesn't have a good move to do here because she's not in position 3. If she was in position 3, I could have gone for the ball already and um, the Shieldbreaker could be dead. Oh, 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 speaking of that. Oh, 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 speaking of that even more. Come on, 65. Yes, beautiful, beautiful stuff. It's a 2v2 now. The afflictions are on his side. I mean, yeah, the afflictions are on his side. Uh, I'm afflicted, he's not. But I have infinite healing with the Arbalist, and... Um, oh, that could be bad. Okay, that's a stun, but it's not the end of the world. A bell will cause me to have a heart attack, but I do get to go first. Which is wonderful that I actually get to go first. Absolutely wonderful. 
Um, the leper is gonna have a heart attack, but it's not the end of the world. I could go for a solemnity, or I could go for a heal with the battlefield bandage. Which one do you want to go for, Shep? Um, I say heal with battlefield. No, 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 no. Oh god, that's the irrational pass. Both of them are irrational, so it's not like she's fearful and has a bigger pass chance. Um, it's still not the end of the world because his chance of getting a stun is non-existent. That bell only kills me if the Arbalist says something stupid. Please. Okay, Arbalist didn't say something stupid. We don't pass. And, um, now we just go for a self heal here. Yeah, for sure. For sure we go for a self heal. That's gonna cure some stress. That's gonna, that's gonna heal me pretty well. And we're gonna be chilling here, not getting that uh, that stomp through uh, as well. Okay, time to go for a Q. I can't remember when that Chester died. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna not worry too much about it. I'm gonna go for a Q. Oh, he's getting close to afflictions. That's nice. Imagine if we actually get an affliction through. He's probably gonna go for a self heal here. I'm gonna have to say. Yeah, there it is. That's a 13. Am I gonna go for a sniper shot or am I gonna go for a ball of no damage? And um, Sniper Shot, also no damage. Ooh, wonderful, my favorite. Uh, we do 6. I would have loved to do a little more than that, but I guess I don't have the Piercing Quarrel, so I can't really complain all that much. He's gonna drop a Bellow. I'm getting closer to those heart attacks. I've, I'm out of heals, by the way. When the Jester Corpse goes away, I'm out of heals right here, and the Abomination still has one of his. So, yeah, this isn't wonderful. Minus 60 damage. Chop still does enough. Hugh doesn't, right? No, Hugh doesn't, but Chop does. Min roll? <laughs> Min roll with Chop still does enough damage, even with minus 60% damage on me. Oh, we're still fine. He has to go for a heal here again. This is gonna be too close. The only problem here is that since my heals are gonna go away, I'm, I'm gonna have a really hard time just killing him. Yeah, I need to kill that. I need to kill that manor arms. I need to kill that manor arms because if the manor arms goes away and the and the shieldbreaker corpse goes away, all that the abomination has is stuns. He doesn't have any stress output. So if I just kill that manor arms as I am right now, I, I actually have a pretty good chance of actually winning this. Yeah, please shieldbreaker corpse go away. Please jester corpse stay another day. Um, <laughs> Jester Corpse, where are you? Jester Corpse, where are you? Um, you. Oh, it wasn't enough. 9 to 17. Oh, we suffered for the 10. Oh, that's so bad. Why didn't I count turns? The corpse doesn't have gone away yet. I had to ball. I'm pretty sure the corpse doesn't have gone away yet. I just killed her a little while ago. That's a confirmed stun, and the bellow is gonna cause enough stress to have my leper have a heart attack, and it's gonna cause... No, it's not gonna cause enough stress on the arbalist. Yeah. No, that's not enough. That's not enough! I'm still alive! I'm alive! You? That's enough damage. Oh my god, this is so close. Yeah, this is why we bring Finisher on the Arbalist. We still have plus... No, Arbalist, you idiot! Okay, the Leper is dead to a Bellow. The Leper is dead to a Bellow. Hopefully he doesn't see it. He doesn't see it. He doesn't go for it. Well, it goes for the stun, which... Oh no, please don't do this to me. Please not the 55 stun chain. Please, no. Okay, that's gonna be a Bellow. Is there any way I don't do damage? Could I not do damage with my Bola here? What? How is he alive? How is the leper alive? How did he survive the bellow? Oh, there's no pit fighter's helm. Okay, come on. Okay, marks himself. We don't care. Hugh, 25, 25. We get a crit. We get a crit, but no kills on either. Oh, come on. Come on. Please resist the stun. It's a 55. Please, please. I need to resist the stun. Or if he goes for a, if he goes for a bellow, please, my arbalists, don't take enough stress. Please resist it. Come on. No! <laughs> oh, is there no justice in this world? There is no justice in this world. Well, GG, Mr. D. I hope you all enjoyed the match, and I'll see you again another time. Cheers.